All right, I just want to bring your attention to a new feature in Dreamweaver CS5 that I've just been hooked on. I can't stop using. Uh, it's the ability to disable or enable properties in a CSS style. I'll show you what I mean. I've got a page open here in Dreamweaver CS5. Now, this is not going to work in earlier versions of Dreamweaver. And if you're looking at your page and you're, say, you're, you're trying to either edit your own page or edit somebody else's page, and you want to be able to find out where the formatting is coming from or what it would look like without certain formatting. Let's say you're just trying to test things. There's a lot of ways to do this. Okay, Come over to the Files panel here. I'm going to double-click this to, to basically collapse it. Take a look at the CSS Styles panel. With the current button selected here, the current selection mode, we can see all the different properties assigned. Summary for selection is up here. We can also see the cascade of rules in the middle. And at the bottom, we can see the properties. Now, this panel, the CSS Styles panel, needs to be pretty tall. Okay, And I also have this button right down here, Show Only Set Properties Selected. Now, let's suppose that we want to see what it looks like without the font weight bold. If you just go to the left of font weight bold there, you're going to see a little slash. If I click, it'll disable it. Now, you'll see out there exactly what it did. It's just whatever it's affecting, it's going to turn off the bolding. If I click to enable it again, it'll enable it. And we can also right-click or control-click on Mac and choose Disable or Enable, whatever it happens to be at that moment. So let me disable the CSS property. I'm going to right-click on Font Weight and go to Code. Take a look over here. You can also control-click on Mac, go to Code. It's going to show me the CSS code in here. Now, just to show you exactly what it's doing, this is something that a lot of us that use CSS or hand-code CSS will do a lot. A comment. This is called a comment tag. So you guys will see the comment tag right here. Dreamweaver actually throws its own little disabled thing in here, which is, you know, makes sense because it's got to know what it is. You don't want to mess with this, okay? You, what you want to do is you want to go back to the uh, property inspector over here or the uh, properties over here on the right in the CSS styles panel and enable or disable there. All right, let me go back to design mode. I'm going to actually select that text again and put my cursor in it. I will enable the font weight. You'll see it happen out there. Now, suppose I'm coming to this style and I turn off, let's say, like margin. Okay, and I realize, well, okay, I might not want that. I turn off padding at zero. You're going to see a lot of different things happen out here. I turn off font size, and I turn off font weight. I don't want either of those. If you look out there, let's suppose that this is what I want. Now, I can leave them disabled. We don't have to enable them, you guys. It actually remembers it for next time you open the page of the CSS. As a matter of fact, if anything else is using this style, it's going to be disabled for that stuff too, okay, if it's using the style. Now, if you have things disabled, you can right-click on those properties over here in the CSS Styles panel or Control-click on Mac. We can enable all of them or, my favorite, you can dis delete the disabled and the selected rule. So this means if you really don't want them, you can just delete them all. Okay. Now, of course, we can come out here and there's actually a little trash can we can click on to delete them. But that's one at a time, okay? unless you shift-click to select them. All right, let me enable these again. I just wanted to show you this great new feature in Dreamweaver CS5. It's an excellent way to be able to turn on and off, just try things, see where formatting is coming from, things like that.